Good morning and welcome to Gone Outdoors. Kyle Agri and Scott Brewer of Brewer Agri Outdoors. Talking hunting, talking fishing, and talking anything you can do outdoors for the next hour here on Kello News Talk, 1320, 107.9 FM, and KWSN, 1230 AM, 98.1 FM, both out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and the mighty 790 KFGO Fargo, 104.7 FM. Today's Gone Outdoors is brought to you by Ray's Sport Marine, your local Lund Boats and Bennington pontoon dealer in Moorhead. RaysMarineMoorhead.com. Adventure RV across from the fairgrounds in West Fargo, your number one RV dealer in the FM area. AdventureRVSales.com. Are you fishing for a snack or gas in Lakes Country? Lakeland General Store is your one-stop shop in the Lakes area at the junction of Highways 59 and 34 in Dunn Villa. Devil's Lake Tourism, Linex of Fargo. This is Linex Country, home of the adventurous. City of Pelican Rapids in the Pelican Liquor Store. Pelican Rapids is open for business and adventure. And Glacial Lake Snow Bear. Fish in comfort this winter in a snow bear. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, we want to say a big, big thank you, especially appreciative. Not that we aren't every single week, but especially appreciative this week for all of our listeners, those who are tuning in today. And, and no matter where it is, if you're out in the tractor, or in the combine, if, you are, uh, if you're at work, if you're at home, in the truck, maybe even at the hunting blind or hunting camp, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to Gone Outdoors. And Scott, Nine years of Gone Outdoors and Outdoor Talk. It was October of 2015 when we October had our first. October 29th, I believe. Yeah, we're, uh, we're here and, and nine years. Uh, I don't know about you, but I didn't have the vision at that point in time to be thinking no. whether we would or would not be doing this nine years down the road. No. And for two and a half years before that, we did half a dozen a year under McFeely Outdoors, uh, where we hosted his show for him. And it's been so much fun, so much fun. The things that we've learned uh, ourselves and the things that we've been able to teach our listeners, the new hobbies that we have gotten. You know, I need both hands to count the new hobbies that I have from just from the show, from the different people that we've interviewed. It's so much fun learning more about the outdoors and like anything else. And we talk about it all the time. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. And it's the same with every one of these hobbies that we're talking about. And it's the same with the outdoors in general. There's just so much out there, uh, so much to do outdoors. And we're only scratching the surface. Yeah. And the more you don't know, the more you want to listen to these guests we get to have on yeah. the show each and every week. And that's what makes it so much fun. And Scott, you know, I know we, we make our show a lot about our guests and the experts we have on here, but we have some listeners who've been with us uh, that entire ride, all nine years and even before. Yeah. Uh, some have just uh, found us as of late. Maybe they're new to the area or new to uh, gone outdoors. Uh, Let's just talk a little bit about who you and I are and how we got to where we're at right now. And I'll just let you take that one and run with it. Well, I am Scotty Brewer. I grew up in Moorhead. I grew up about a half a mile down the road from where I live now in North Moorhead. Pretty fortunate to call Fargo Moorhead my home my entire life. And uh, used to do a lot of fishing, still do a lot of fishing in western Minnesota. I remember when I was five years old, my parents bought their first lake property and I had a fit, a major, major temper tantrum because my parents said I could not go out and fish right away because my brothers wanted to go swimming and they didn't trust a five-year-old to be out there casting lures. So, and I had a temper tantrum. I never swam that day. I sat on shore and cried and cried and cried until they were done, until I could fish. And so I'm pretty sure I was addicted to fishing when I was five years old. And it, I don't think it's necessarily gotten any better since then. Although I haven't had any temper tantrums lately, at least none that I'll admit to. Yeah, you're a pretty amicable guy. You're a pretty easy guy to get along with, that's for sure. But I know you have a passion that has no end when it comes to putting that rod and reel to use. And a passion for sharing 
which is probably the reason why I'm sitting here in this seat right now talking to all of you because I love to share my experiences because things that I've had fun, things that I've been successful at, I want you to be successful too. And I want you guys to go out and enjoy the same passions that I've had. And I will tell you anything, anytime you want about whatever I'm doing. And I've had people ask me this in, in a tournament, ask me where I've, where I've been catching my fish. And I'll tell them because I figure if they can go catch my fish better than me in my spot, good for them. But that's just the way I am. A lot of guys aren't that way, and I don't knock you for being for not being that way. But that's just how I am, and it's why I like to share my passion. So, same with you, Kyle. I don't know if you'll go to that quite extreme, but I know you really, really enjoy sharing all of your outdoor passions, even your new ones, with anybody that will listen. Yeah, absolutely, Scott. And I can't recall a time when I threw a uh, a temper tantrum, but you know what? I bet you, if you ask well, my I folks, they probably did. Yeah, I, it's <laughs> probably happened. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny that. It's just not something I dwell on. I grew up in South Central Minnesota, uh, and and cut my teeth fishing and hunting in the Minnesota River Valley. I came to Fargo Moorhead to school after I graduated high school, met my wife who's, who's from the area. She's from Gardner, just up north of town here. And uh, we have made our life, raised our kids here in the Fargo Moorhead area. So not a, not a lifer, but darn near uh, I, my adult life I've, I've spent here. When I was young, I, I had a real passion for, for bird hunting and waterfowling. And, you know, that's a, that's a good thing to do when you're a young guy and full mm-hmm. of energy. In that transition somewhere, I bought my first boat, joined a local fishing league, and and met you, and uh, that was what? That was 25 years ago. That was many, many, many years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time, and it's been a great, great ride, and the adventures we've shared and the things we've been able to share with each other and our listeners and our friends and our family has been amazing, And, and this radio program has been a a big part of it the last nine years. And, and we just look at that as a, as a, just an amazing opportunity to share some of those adventures and experiences and some of the guests we get to have on with all of you that are tuning into gone outdoors. And, and once again, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you listening in and, and, and being a part of this gone outdoors community that we have uh, of folks who love to listen who love to get out and participate in all of the great outdoor things. And, and whether you're doing it today or maybe not at the phase of life you're at right now, if you can think back and recount some of the memories you had in the outdoors, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And uh, you know, that old saying, Kyle, life is what happens when you're planning for the future. And the last nine years of life have been pretty darn good in my book. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Speaking of excellent, hey, we have got an excellent lineup of guests for this, our our ninth year anniversary Gone Outdoors show. Scott Gangle, North Dakota Game and Fish Fisheries Management Section Leader. He's going to talk a little bit about the balance between bait fish and predator fish. This is something that I am really interested in learning about. Josh Neck is going to talk a little Canada goose hunting and Nobody that uh, I know has a bigger passion for Canada geese than Josh does. So uh, you'll have some interesting things to share with us. And we'll wrap up talking with Tanner Cherney, Devils Lake Tourism, talking about all the great things that are going on up there in the boat and in the field in the Devils Lake area. Folks, uh, we got a great one lined up. Don't go away. We're going to take a quick break and be back with more on Outdoors. Outdoors. 